Electron Man, we're going to do a uh, SSD upgrade on a Idea Pad Flex 5, a 15L05 i7. She's only got a one terabyte drive in it, and uh, I'm doing it for my brother in law, which is a DJ and he needs a bigger drive. So we're going to upgrade it to a Samsung 990 Pro, four terabyte. This is some serious hardware here. So anyway, I'm going to take you along on the uh, little journey here doing that upgrade. Um, this is a nice computer, man. I can't believe how thin it is for an i7 and the performance this gets, but uh, yes, sir. -y. So, first thing we're going to do is get the back off of it. So, let's just go ahead and it looks like it's got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, three, three, six, eight, yeah, nine screws. And uh, we'll see how easy it is to take apart. It does use a um, mini uh, Torx. Not sure the size there. I've got a little multi kit that kind of has a little bit of everything in it. And it's not a security torque, so at least it's just a uh, just a little bitty torque. Take these screws out here. I like to kind of lay them out like that, so that if one of them's longer or different, then uh, then I'll know it. And go back in the same way kind of I got room up here I kind of just lay them here so I know that's the top three this little thing I do and I know it's gonna go right there because that's the middle one looks like it's got a little thread lock on them too that's interesting set that one over here inside this bad boy see what she looks like nine screws man Out. That is a little bitty torch too. I mean, itty bitty. Okay, let's see if she's just lifting up here. Hopefully, this is a really nice laptop. Doesn't have any damage. I sure don't want to make it have any damage. So, be real gentle about this. Can't hardly get anything underneath there. Let's try a little micro screw over here. See if we can't just kind of catch the edge here. I was expecting it to come a little easier off than that. something here hmm. I'm not seeing nothing else that would impede the removal Snap it all the way around. It'll be one of them. Looks like it is. Yeah. It's gonna have to work around and gently lift it up. Yeah, let me stop this. Take my time here. I only need to watch me for 30 minutes pulling this apart, but you get okay. We got her apart. And it was just like I thought, it was just a, uh, just be careful, and slowly but surely I unsnapped it all the way around, I didn't break any clips, uh, no damage, but boy, kind of stressful, I have to tell you, kind of surprised it was that hard to get the back off of it, but it is what it is.
Yeah, we got the wireless card here. Hopefully, uh, these wires aren't your way. Uh, so I got. I'm gonna go over this. Uh, there's our SSD drive. There's our battery pack. Man, they got a lot crammed in here. There's your heat pipes. Power. But all I'm doing is I'm just, I'd take all part of this for that right there. So anyway, let's go ahead and pull that out of here. Hopefully I can, I don't know if it'll cover having that heat sink on it or not. I could have done a better job opening it than that's for sure. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Question is, is that gonna fit? Or is that gonna be too tall? I might have to lose the hard drive. I mean, I, the heat sink. I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave the heat sink on there or not. <sighs> okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, so to remove the uh, SSD drive, all we got to do is take that screw out there. So Make sure it's powered off, which it was. Pull this SSD drive out of here. So it's got a little heat sink material underneath it. it looks like it kind of transfers on top of it. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to use that heat sink. It's going to be close. I have to lose the heat sink. I just don't trust it. According to this, uh, kind of get the gist of it. I'm just not comfortable with that, and I'm having to put a lot of extra pressure on that because it's actually rising. Yeah, it's going to have to just be the SSD drive. Let me work on getting this heat sink off. Okay, I got the fancy Samsung heat sink off of it. Hopefully, it doesn't void the warranty. It's kind of a pain to get off, but. Did not feel comfortable with uh it's got to go in that way it just does not have the room to do it any other way fortunately i had the tools to get it apart because it was not easy and then let's just put the What am I thinking? I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, now I've inserted my, uh, hopefully you're getting to do that. Inserted my M2 drive, the replacement drive, in this uh, IdeaPad Lenovo, and uh, went and mounted it in there. Left the thermal in there, and uh, I've already powered it on. Before I put the back on, I wanted to make sure clone worked perfect uh, came right up so we're good to go so that's all putting this drive in this computer is not so bad in this desk or laptop but uh, getting that back cover off was not any fun but uh, it was doable and uh, we're done with that so now we just got to put the cover back on the back of it which I think it'll be easier to go on than come off but uh sure all this stuff is stuck down real good let's see here it was like this 
I'm hoping it snaps on a lot easier than it came off because it did not. It was not the most friendly thing to come off of there, I'm telling you. Yeah, it feels like it just snaps right back in. Yeah. Snaps back in a lot easier than it came apart. Yeah, there we go. We're all snapped back in. Piece of cake. Kind of stressful. I don't like having to pry on them like that to get them apart, but we didn't hurt it. I didn't chip anything or scuff anything, so we're happy. So now we just got to do is put the screws back in it. So I'll be back when we get the screws back in it. And there you go, guys. All back together. No damage. M2 drive upgraded. There's your old drive, which, what did this come with? I don't know, it doesn't say or MVM brand. I don't know. That's a one terabyte that came out of it and now has a four terabyte in it. Uh, this cloning box definitely did the job. No problems once I figured out how to use it. But there you go. There's how you do a uh, a drive upgrade on this uh, Lenovo. A little bit of a stress. I tell you that back cover, be prepared. Um, Get you some good plastic removal tools or something that you can uh, thin that you can a uh, guitar pick would work good um, that's what i used they always work real good a credit card corner of a credit card but once you get all the screws out you have to unpop the whole back out of it and it's kind of stressful but we got her all back together and she's functioning fine and the cloning software will work good so hopefully this helps you out um if it does please uh give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and as always, guys, have a great day. This is the Electron Man.